Hey, yo, what is going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, and boys and fangirls, and of course, as always, I'm talking to Nikki Komori's out there, this is the one and only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Mania Wolverine, of course, you guys are rest intros on outro, Swords' channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all the good stuff, and today, well, actually, a few days ago, but I still want to talk about it anyways, because it is old school rock star gaming, like, related stuff about Red Red Dead Redemption 2. Saying they're going to be redefining the gaming industry and then take two cents. I found this on GameSpot, but before I get to that, shout out to my boy Stone Fox Media. He talked about it first. Really, really cool ass, funny dude. He talks about Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft news all three at once. I forgot which video it was. I think it was one of these two. Shout out to him. Real funny, comedical guy. But, anyways, let's get on to this little thing right here. It's a little bit of a long, lengthy um, video, on um, video uh, article, but. I'll leave the links to description box down below. Of course, GameSpot already has it on YouTube. You guys can look that up for yourself. But if I find the video for it, I'll check it out as well. So it says, Grand Theft Auto developers will be get. I'm not sure who the guy was that created it, but shout out to the person that made the article. Grand Theft Auto developers, Rockstar Games' big game, next big game, Red Dead Redemption 2, is coming in October, and parent publisher Take Two has high hopes. During an earning of the calls today. Take two CEO Stratus, hopefully that's how you say it, Zelnik, said that his game will quote yet yet another creative milestone, unquote, from Rockstar Boasters games. Or excuse me. Boasting further, Zelnik says that Red Dead Redemption 2 aims to quote redefine our industry, unquote, and captivate the audiences around the world. And there's more quotation marks. Holy shit, there's a crap ton of quotation marks in this article. Woo! Boy, freaking howdy. No pun intended. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2 is Rockstar's game's first title development from the ground up from the current console, for the current console generation, Tech 2 said. We could, be not, we could not be more excited about the upcoming launch of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is poised to be another massive entertainment event. Zelnik didn't, didn't say anything more about how the Red Dead Redemption 2 will be redefining the gaming industry. Intriguingly enough... Rockstar has said that the game will have a new innovation multiplayer mode, and but no further details have been announced at this point. That's what it should have said. <laughs> it says, Zelnik did not say anything about Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, I already read that part. <laughs> Never mind. While Red Dead Redemption 2 is expected... Oh, I went a little bit too far there. Expected to be massive, a huge massive success. It is not projected to sell better than what Rockstar's gaming previous games, Grand Theft Auto V, that title has shipped nearly 100 million units, making it one of the most successful titles in the history of the world. Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out to the PS4 and Xbox One and maybe PC. You talking about maybe PC? That has to be exactly on PC. Obviously, the Grand Theft Auto series is always on PC and console games throughout the entire lifespan, I think, from like... I think 1999 all the way up to now. That was the early, early Wild Wild West years of the internet too. So back then you could get away with almost anything online. Nowadays you pretty much can't. But let's move forward. <clears throat> a prequel to 2010's... Oh yeah, let me read this part first. And will be a few different versions to choose from. A prequel of the 2010's Red Dead Redemption. The new game follows the story of outlaw Arthur Morgan. In addition to the campaign, there will be more kind of online modes that will be expected for the PS exclusive and microtransaction. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that's a little bit of a bitch. And uh, yeah, that's it. So overall thoughts, views, and opinions. I don't know where the hell that freaking thing came from. This is the thing. I never really, unfortunately, didn't get the chance to grow up playing when it was, it was 2006, I think, when this came out. So it was about my junior, senior year of high school. Maybe my sophomore year. I forget if it was... Wasn't 2005, it might have been 06 or 07 when the Red Dead Redemption 1 came out at the time. And at that time, the cycle of the PlayStation 2's console, that was pretty much coming to a freaking far end. Oh, if you people want to read the title yourself or you just want to watch the video links down below, you can leave now if you want. This is just me rambling now. But to be honest with you people, it's kind of a bitch. To be a freaking 110% honest with you people, it sucks because I unfortunately didn't really get a huge chance to play Red Dead Redemption. Like I did at the time I was in a lot of other games and a couple like PC games, like a couple of them. I'm not gonna say which ones they were. I think Warhammer four thousand, League of Legends, I was really big into in 05 and 06. 
long ass time ago. For some of you kids, it might not even born for my younger audience out there. My older audience, you probably knew where you were at. <laughs> and a couple other things, I was even reading the wiki before <laughs> saying that you could actually use a whole bunch of different old school weapons in like Red Dead Redemption 2. You could use, um, what was it called? John Masterson's right here. He says the weapons includes like revolvers, old school pistols, lever bolt action rifles, and knives, explosions. Explosive with elastic mountains, gate, gatling shotties, and then other shotties, and then sniper rifles and cannons. Holy shit. This is from the combat thing. I'll leave the link to the wiki down below if any people aren't really familiar with Road Dead Redemption like I am. Because I think it's the same thing as on Grand Theft Auto. It just takes place in the 18 or 1900s instead of like modern day time. I think that's what makes it different from Grand Theft Auto series. But it was always a really, really well deserved, well respected game. I always wanted to play. Unfortunately, I never got a chance to pick it up back in the day because, you know, <laughs> the time I was still living with my parents and they weren't rich up the ass to give me every single game in the world. <laughs> it was either GTA or it was the other one that they would have gave me. Um, Ah, uh, any of the old school fighting games like Soul Calibur series, the older versions, not the newer ones like from nowadays, but back then, that along with um, Dynasty Warriors and all that shit, <laughs> I was really, really big into that. And obviously Pokemon, obviously, what else? But, oh yeah, one other thing, I really, really like that you could choose the Fate series, I think that's what made it right before GTA 4 for the PS3 came out, I think they added that series with classic old school like GTA 4, it's probably considered retro now with Nico Bellic and Luis Lopez. Those mother efforts were super freaking cool. I don't know if it was like that. If it was anything like how Rep Dev Redential, but it's like an old school Midwestern, 18, 19, early 1900s like era. I could see that being a really well-deserved play game. I never got a chance to like pick it up myself, but hopefully one day I get to play both those games. Cause shit, man. I used to watch a lot of Let's Plays on the first Red Dead Redemption right after I got out of college, and it was so fucking cool. I seen a lot of the overworld aspect of it that... You know, just not voyeurism, if I want to say it's the right way. But, like, that adventurous outlook is just a massive MMORPG of a giant-ass freaking place to explore. And it looks like a real beautiful and the environments of the game are nice. I'm going to all these little, like, western Texas-looking um, woods and, like, all these desert areas that you would never see in the mountains. It's like the vast environment is beautiful. That's all i got to say about that. I know this is a little bit more of a shorter video, but that's all i got to say for now. So shout-out to my boy, Stone Fox Media. I'll leave the link to whichever video that he was talking about this down below. He did talk about a little bit of PUBG and Fortnite news, which I don't want to give a shit about. But, yeah, links to that video in the description box below. And I'm out of here. Peace sells out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. And, of course, as always, I'll talk to sneaky commodities out there. I will see you when I see you guys. Good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world out there. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't take them reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it locked out there. Stay tuned for future articles, slash reviews, including... Video gaming industry news, anime manga news, internet news, and when September comes around the corner next month, more outdoor chat and breeze vlog contents I will do. Take it easy, peace out, my life, South Carl, stay safe, late and goodbye, we'll see you on the flip side, take it easy, I'm gone, I'm out, goodbye, and see you guys soon. Take care, and I'm out.